this is really before you actually have the boat. Um, my, um, what my work is, in fact, is uh, looking for new materials, trends, um, different innovations in design, looking at different industries and seeing how, you, how industries can inspire each other. Like, for example, for the boating industry, it's really good to look at, the, at car design, what's happening there. So this, this is a little bit of a, it's a very short um, presentation, but just to give you sort of four different directions in design that could be sustainable. But as, as a designer, you always think it has to look good. <laughs> So a little bit about me. Um, this is me uh, in Monaco, in a submarine. And that's certain advantages to uh, when you're a trend researcher is that everyone invites you in and lets you, you know, even though I'm not going to buy this submarine, I was allowed to sit in it. He didn't go underwater, unfortunately. But um, what I liked about this product is it was actually meant as like a toy for yacht owners. But if you do buy this submarine, you, you have to give, like 20% of the time has to go to marine research. So that's sort of a, uh, something that this company has, has asked. Um, so my background, I, I studied industrial design and marketing, and I've mostly been working in the motorcycle and uh, snowmobile industry, but quite related. I, I, I mean, I love boat design. I'm now living in the south of France, so I always visit the boat shows and uh, I have given lectures here before at BOAT. Because my information is very general, it can be applied to any company working in mo mobility or product design. Um, what, what are you going to see um, in this sort of presentation? I work sort of with mood boards, and I, what I try to do is make sort of these, these panels that could inspire um, a designer or uh, uh, somebody in marketing or somebody in product planning to get some ideas of how can you think differently, how can you do some different types of design uh, without just looking at your competitor, you know, just looking at just different products. These are some things that I saw in Milan Design Week. Uh, this is like one of the new Nike jackets, so this is sort of a trend about translucency and adding color. So these are all, so the idea is that you get inspiration, you get ideas, but you don't necessarily, you're the one, you know, if you're producing any type of product, this will just be, may give you some ideas like, hey, maybe we should try that for this part of our design. <clears throat> so I, I will start with um, what uh, sort of this key thing that we're talking about today is sustainability is here to stay and otherwise we will not be. And, uh, it's, uh, you know, they're always saying there is no planet B. We have this planet and we must take care of it. But still, we have to look good. So um, this is a, a great picture which demonstrates, it's sort of a, a, an, an analogy of all the uh, space waste. Besides, you know, plastic waste in the seas, there's also all this space waste floating around the Earth. And there are some designers that are thinking of new things to do with space waste. Um, so I found it a very good symbolic image. So I'm going to show you sort of four directions in design that uh, you could use right now. And one of them I call space junk, and that is what we've, what we've already seen here uh, at the show and in different industries is, is making um, a product out of recycled. So it could be recycled aluminum or recycled plastics using recycled materials wherever you can. Even the pen that I got at the at the hotel was made, of, was made of recycled plastic. So it's things that can already be implemented right now. The, uh, the second one is, I call it 3D light, and that is more that if you are going to make a design, make it as lean as possible. You know, don't add all these plastic parts, just make, uh, make like clean design and um, maybe use more 3D printing to, to save on materials. Then uh, I'm really glad to see <laughs> uh, Fab Fabian, Frederick, Frederick from Green Boats here, because uh, five years ago I came to the show, and um, and he was the only one that had a bio-based boat here at the show, and uh, and right now you do have one competitor, by the way. 
She's making it out of cannabis. <laughs> but um, so uh, using flax instead of, um, instead of plastics. And uh, so flax is just a great material which doesn't use a, a lot of environmental impact to make it. So looking at natural alternatives. And then finally, um, I have this one, the last trend is called object of desire. So that is like making a product with the idea of longevity. So that not something that you, after two or three years you're going to change again. So something that is so well made that it should last a long time. Like a Miele, for example. You buy it you know, for 20, 20 years. So that kind of thing, maybe investing more in your product instead of doing something really fast so that the customer takes, uses it for a long time. We can start with this little video, race which has some sound. Ourselves. There's this idea in space exploration that if you're going to fly to the moon, fly to Mars, and stay there and do something, you have to create things with what you find there. Say there's no resupply mission coming to Mars, there's no resupply mission coming to Earth either. What if waste becomes our future feedstock? And they look weird. It's because they're made of trash. So it, there's this duality of high performance but low impact. So yeah, um, Nike came out with this, um, with this great sneaker called the Space Hippie. And um, basically made of whatever, whatever materials they found in the factories. And you'll, I'll show you a picture of it on the next uh, slide. Um, another thing, I was at the, um, the IAA in Munich last year, the car show, and uh, BMW had the, um, the concept car, the BMW Circular, where they also use the, the recycled plastic. And here you see, um, it actually looks beautiful, you know, even though sometimes you think, hey, maybe recycled plastic looks a bit like messy and dirty, but here it really looks nice in the, de in the design of, the, of this is the, actually the back of the chair. Um, so yeah, you can, as a designer, you can really look at the different types of colors of recycled plastic. And um, here's some more examples. Here you see the, the Nike, uh, the space, the, the, um, the hippie sneaker, which I, I have seen some people on the show wearing it. <laughs> and, um, and yesterday, when I was walking around the show over here in, in Hall 9, there is um, a company um, who are making um, docks for, uh, for, for marinas. Out of, out of recycled shampoo bottles from Germany. So if you would buy that, it's all German hair product. Um, what I really liked about this color is this is, if you mix all the shampoo bottles in Germany, you get this sort of grayish blue color, so, which is kind of nice. So this is just the color of everything mixed together. So I kind of like it when colors sort of become naturally the way they are. And if after this lecture, you're welcome to come up and, um, and have a look. They do have a couple of other colors right now, um, but they're, all try they're trying to make them all with, with natural dyes. Then another um, product also from BMW, because I do work in the motorcycle industry, is the, um, the Ambi, which also has the, the seat made out of recycled plastic. And as you can see, it, it actually looks quite, quite nice. So we have another little video. So that, I, I really like that design because as you can see, it, it was a wheelchair, but as you, it has a lot of minimal materials and because of the 3D printing, it's almost customized towards the, the user. And uh, a few years ago at the Geneva car show, there was a, a car that, that was similarly done with minimal materials, but more like using structure. And um, so this would be a way 
to create a product but using as being as lean as possible in the in the material plus being able to adjust the design with the 3D printing according to whatever functionality I think this would if you did this to a boat it would sink right away but you could do it for <laughs> things in the interior We'll have Star another little video here um, and tomorrow we should be in cars and airplanes. Why do we use natural fibers and especially flax fibers? Is the main advantage is the very good damping properties. So the vibration damping is about three to five times more than carbon or glass fibers, ten times more than aluminum, for example. And another very good advantage is that uh, the weight of flax fibers, so the density, is quite low. Okay, so there um, you see some, um, some ideas of what you can do with flax fiber, and there is actually a beautiful flax boat here on the show um, that you can look at, and, and I have some samples of the material here. And what I, what I liked about uh, green boats is they actually, even for the foam on the inside, they used corn instead of uh, styrofoam. So a lot of these products can, all the, all the levels, even the coatings, can be more sustainable. And if you see it, yeah, it looks a little bit um, like very natural, but, but they're even in the motorcycle industry, you see them experimenting with using flax. And, uh, and here at the bottom right is the, um, the cannabis boat. <laughs> um, also looking f just at, at parts of a product that you don't see um, at, the, uh, at the car show, there, there was this coconut fiber, which I have right here. Um, to use instead of foam on the inside of a seat. So that would also be relevant for the boating industry. All right, so we're now at our final trend. Here's a small video. What does a waste-free world look like? One where we don't throw away empty packaging. We simply refill it. One where we convince billions of people to do the same. Minim is a new way of buying and using your favorite everyday products with minimum waste but maximum care for the planet. Made with high quality and sustainably sourced materials, Minim is designed to last forever and when you run out, we'll simply refill it for you. Delivered to your door by our partner, Loop. Minim. Minimizing waste today. Join. All right, so that, that is more about uh, if you are going to make a package or something, it maybe make it refillable rather than always disposable. And uh, so th this trend, I call it object of desire because it's important that, that if, if you're going to have a package or whatever product that you're going to be using more than just once, it should look really nice. It should be something that you want in your, in your space. And... Um, I, I have the example here of the uh, Peugeot Onyx concept, which is just the most, is an elegant design. And actually, now, it's, this was already almost 20 years ago, this concept car came out, and now the, um, um, the, the metal has actually changed color, but in a beautiful way. So it's also thinking about what will the material do after a certain amount of time? Will it become more beautiful or will it just change? Um, so here are a couple of, of examples of of how to make elegant design. And when I was at the Monaco Yacht Show, there was this gorgeous boat by uh, Sarvo Marine, electric boat, and also something that, that because of the, the gorgeousness of the design, it's something that you would keep for a very long time. So finally, this is sort of how I usually show my clients the directions. You see we've got the, the four directions, recycled plastic, lean design, using natural, or making a, a, a product with longevity. And then if you see it exclusively, then this is how you could see how can I transfer it into my own design. So now you see them all together. Thank you so much. And if you're interested, um, if you can leave me your card and I can send you a sample of this presentation. And uh, you're welcome to come up and have a, a look at some of the materials that I have here that are sustainable. Thank you.